Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API Recommended Practice 572 Inspection Practices for Pressure Vessels. In this lecture, we will discuss sub clauses 9.3 External Inspection. The sub clauses 9.3 External Inspection contains 14 items and we will discuss and highlight important information contained item 9.3.1 to 9.3.9. .9. Ladders, stairways, platforms, and walkways. The external visual inspection of pressure vessels and exchangers. Start with ladders, stairways, platforms or walkways connected to or bearing on the vessel. Supplemented by hammering and scraping. Performed by an individual as determined by the owner user and does not necessarily need to be the authorized inspector. The tightness of bolts can be determined by tapping with an inspector's hammer or a small ball peen hammer or by trying the nuts with a wrench. Wear on metal stair treads and flooring may not only weaken them, but also make them slippery if worn smooth. Corrosion Depressions in platforms should be closely checked, because water lying in depressions can accelerate corrosion. On ladders and stairs, Corrosion is likely to concentrate where rungs or treads fit into the runners or stringers. Foundations and supports They should be inspected for damage, such as spalling, cracking, and settling. Cracks in concrete or fireproofing Caused by excessive heat, poor design, or material, mechanical shock, or unequal settlement. Very small openings or cracks, hair-like appearance, caused by high temperature or by temperature changes, are not usually serious unless they expose the steel rebar to corrosion. When major cracks appear and propagate, and measurements indicate that no settlement has taken place, the cracks are probably the result of fatigue, poor design, or poor material. Settlement Records of settlement should be maintained on vessels known to be settling. The frequency with which settlement measurements should be taken depends on the rate and the seriousness of the settlement. Anchor bolts The area of contact between the bolts and any concrete or steel should be scraped and closely examined for corrosion. A sidewise blow with a hammer may reveal complete or nearly complete deterioration of the anchor bolt below the base plate as illustrated in figure. Distortion of anchor bolts may indicate serious foundation settlement. The nuts on anchor bolts should be inspected to determine whether they are properly tightened. UT may also be used to test bolts. Steel supports Inspected for corrosion, distortion, and cracking. Galvanizing is one of the best methods of protecting steel structures from corrosion. Columns and load carrying beams. Inspected for buckling or excessive deflection. Inspected visually with the aid of a straight edge or plumb line. Taking diameter measurements at several points approximately 60 degrees apart can check distortion of cylindrical skirts 
the inside surface of a skirt sheet is often subject to attack by condensed moisture, especially when the temperature in the enclosed area is lower than approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or when steam is put in the skirt to warm the bottom of the vessel. Fixed and floating supports Inspect fixed and floating supports on horizontal vessels. Floating ends of vessels should be free to allow for thermal growth and contact any sort of stop. Air fan tubes will buckle if shipping pins are not pulled from floating supports. Fireproofing on support beams and skirts. Very light taps with a hammer will disclose lack of bond between concrete fireproofing and the protected steel. The bulge in the fireproofing would indicate the corrosion. Guy wires most vessels are self-supporting structures. Some towers or columns are guide for support by steel cables. NDT Visual examination may be sufficient to check wire rope condition at grade and from accessible platforms but AUT inspection is typically necessary to scan the entire length of guy wires for condition and proper loading. Lubrication It is also often necessary to periodically lubricate guy wires to maintain corrosion resistance. Clips should be spaced at least six rope diameters apart to ensure maximum holding power. The number of clips necessary for each wire rope end depends upon the diameter of the wire rope. Nozzles If any settling of the vessel has occurred, nozzles and adjacent shell areas should be inspected for distortion and cracking. If there is any evidence of distortion or cracks in the area around the nozzles, all seams and the shell in this area should be examined for cracks. The area should be abrasive grit blasted or wire brushed. Visual examination plus MT, PT, angle beam UT, or replication techniques. Catalytic reformer equipment operating at temperature more than 900 degrees Fahrenheit may experience creep embrittlement damage during operation. Replication is a useful technique in detecting creep embrittlement damage. Reinforcing plates around nozzles Examine to assure they are intact. Vent hole is not physically plugged or leaking. Normally, weep holes in reinforcing plates re -pads, should remain open to provide visual evidence of leakage. Review questions Question number one the vessel's external inspection should start by first inspecting the Answer is D. Question number two. Which of the following is true concerning the inspection of ladders and platforms? Answer is C.
Question number three. Ladders and platforms should be inspected. Answer is D. Question number four. Tightness of bolts can be checked by. Answer is A. Question number five. Worn stair treads. Answer is A. Question number six. Small depressions on platforms are of concern since these can Answer is A Question number 7 where is a common place for corrosion on ladders? Answer is B. Question number 8. What type of corrosion often occurs at bolts and nuts? Answer is A. Question number 9. Crevice corrosion is not common at which of the following? Answer is B. Question number 10. Which of the following does not cause cracking in concrete foundations? Answer is A. Question number 11. Small hair like cracks in concrete foundations. Answer is D. Question number 12. Small hair like cracks in concrete foundations can be a problem if the crack. Answer is D. Question number 13. Major cracking is found in a concrete foundation. Vessel settlement is checked and is determined to not be a contributing factor. What is the probable cause? Answer is D. Question number 14. Vessel settlement measurements are.
Answer is C. Question number 15. What examination method is normally used to examine in-service anchor bolts? Answer is B. Question number 16. A distorted anchor bolt is usually the result of Answer is A. Question number 17. Corroded anchor bolts can also be checked using. Answer is D. Question number 18. What is one of the best ways to prevent external corrosion on structural steel? Answer is B. Question number 19. Buckling of support columns can be checked with. Answer is B. Question number 20. To check for distortion of a vessel skirt, take diameter measurements of the skirt every. Answer is C. Question number 21. The inside of a vessel skirt may be subject to corrosion from condensed moisture if the temperature in the skirt is. Answer is D. Question number 22. Floating ends of exchangers should be free to allow for. Answer is D. Question number 23. During operation, air coolers tubes will buckle if. Answer is B. Question number 24. What is a good way to check for disbonded fireproofing? Answer is A. Question number 25. A bulge in fireproofing can be caused by Answer is A. Question number 26. Guy wires supporting tall vessels should be examined using. Answer is D. Question number 27. Guy wires supporting tall vessels should be occasionally lubricated to.
Answer is C. Question number 28. At the end of a guy wire, the wire wraps, making an 180 degree bend and is held together by clips. The spacing between the clips should be at least to. Answer is D. Question number 29. At the end of a guy wire, the wire wraps, makes an 180 degree bend and is held together by clips. The minimum number of clips is. Answer is C. Question number 30. Which of the following would be most affected if a vessel foundation experiences excessive settlement? Answer is B. Question number 31. What should be done if shell distortion is found at a nozzle? Answer is A. Question number 32. Catalytic reformer vessels may have creep damage if the operating temperature is. Answer is B. Question number 33. Creep damage may be detected using. Answer is C. Question number 34. Weep holes on repads. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.